Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to talk about how to speed up your PC in 2023. A slow computer can be incredible frustrating and it can significantly slow down your workflow as well. So in this video we'll be covering a few simple steps and effective ones or effective ways to optimize your PC performance. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. So the first thing, it's going to be remove unnecessary programs and files from your computer. So of course, you should remove any program or files you don't need. Over time, your computer can accumulate a lot of unnecessary files and programs that take up valuable speed or space and slow down your PC. So, of course, if you want to delete any unnecessary files, you can simply go and hit the Windows R button in your keyboard. This will appear to you. Simply, you'll have to type temp and hit the Enter button. That will open this for you. What you'll have to do, of course, here, just simply click at Control A and hit the delete button in your keyboard. And of course, check this and click on skip because those uh, cannot be deleted. You can hit the Windows R button again and keep this temp, but add this percentage before and after the temp. Hit the enter button or click on OK. This uh, will appear to you and do the same. Control A, delete and continue for those items of course for those items simply click on skip and for those items as well and here we are so now we will have to delete any unnecessary apps and of course we can do that by just clicking at the windows key and here you'll have to type control panel hit the enter button or button that will take you here so simply here click add and install a program and here you'll find all the programs that you have into your PC. If you want to delete something that you don't like or something in a story you are not using anymore, you can simply go to that program as an example. Let's say for me it's going to be this voice mode. So simply I'll have to double click on it and click on yes right now. And this, are you sure you want to completely remove voice mode for me? Yes. And removal settings, yes. So we'll need to wait a bit until it's deleted. And as you can see, voice mode was successfully removed from your computer. Click on OK. Of course, you can do that for all the other apps. You can simply double click or simply click once and then click and install. Now, once you finish with the steps, of course, we will head to the second step. So many programs are set to start up automatically when you turn on your computer. And this can significantly, significantly, sorry, slow down your PC boot time. So to speed up your PC boot time, go to the task manager simply. You can right click your task board and go and click at the task manager if you have a Windows 11. Of course, here you'll have to go to this left panel and make sure to click on this fifth option, which is the start app option. As you can see here, you'll find all the apps that could be able to start with your PC. If the app is enabled, that means the app will be started up with your PC. And if it's disabled, that means it will not start up with your PC. So of course, if you want to disable some unnecessary product, so per default, a lot of apps, if you download them, will be uh, be able to start up with your PC and it will slow down your PC. So simply go to the necessary app that you don't need when you open your PC. As an example, this is an example, you don't need like uh, this OneDrive, you don't need the, the Epic Games Launcher or etc. So you can simply go and click on them, then simply click on disable. For me, it's already disabled, so I cannot click on disable. And of course, if you want to enable some apps to be able to open when you open your PC, you can simply click on them, then simply go and click on enable as an example on this one. I'll have to click on enable and I'm going to be good to go. And we will be done with this step. Once you disable any program, you don't need to start automatically. So the third step is going to be update your operating systems and drivers. Of course, keep your operating systems and drivers up to date can improve your PC performance and fix any bugs or issues. That may be slowing it down. 
of course make sure you're running the latest version of your operating systems in driver by checking for updates regularly of course you can always go to the device manager as an example and here you'll be able to see all the things that you have in your pc and of course what is necessarily you can just go to your processor as an example right click and scan for any hardware changes you can do the same for your display card as an example and a lot of other stuff you can simply just go and scan for anything or you can expand it then go and update the driver of your microphone of your processor as an example as you said and a lot of other stuff and then let's pass to the fourth step so of course the fourth step is going to be install and reinstall programs because sometimes simply an installing and reinstalling a program can help speed up your pc this is because over time programs can become corrupted or bloated leading to slow your performance so simply if you're using a program a lot or if you have a program that you installed when you got your pc and you have your pc for like five years or something like that and install that program and reinstalling it will help you improve your pc or the performance of your pc once you install the program make sure to restart your computer and then reinstall it to see if it helps improve your pc speed and then let's just pass to the fifth step which is the fragments your hard drive because over time your hard drive can become fragmented which means that files are stored in different locations on the disk this can slow down your computer performance and the fragments in your hard drive can help optimize your pc performance by organizing your files and making them easier to access so simply you can hit the windows key and simply type optimize and hit the enter button that will open this optimized drivers for you and of course make sure to go to your c and if you have any other hard drives or ssds as an example and make sure to optimize them of course as you can see i have for me this kid will optimize them optimization sorry on so i don't have to do that manually i just turn in this on and he or the pc does this for me weekly because i choose to do it weekly and as you can see my c drive and my d drive are actually optimized five days and it will be optimized since two days from now so we are done with this step and of course the last step it's going to be upgrade your hardware if your computer is still slow after trying these methods it may be time to upgrade your hardware consider upgrading your ram as an example or switching to a solid state drive which is an ssd instead of hdd for faster performance of course and there you have it guys these are some simple and effective ways to speed up your PC and improve its performance by removing unnecessary files, disabling startup programs, updating your operating system and drivers, and installing and reinstalling programs, defrag defragmenting sorry, your hard drive, and upgrading your hardware. You can optimize your PC performance and get back to work in no time. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.